got hugs and love, guys. Yeah. Okay. Me too. We're going to figure out next time you come up. Or you guys come up. Probably during school, too. Yeah. You can do some school with me, okay? Can you stay longer? Okay? Love you. Okay. Are you done? We're just waiting for them to finish playing. But I just want, I want you guys to be here. Can you get your goodbyes in? Your hugs and love? <laughs> And we'll just grab you when they're finished and we'll head on down. Don't forget to text me when you land, okay? Remind your brother to text me. Okay. So I know you guys got there safe. Okay. Alright, You want to take these guys down for me? That'd be wonderful. Alright boys, love you. This gentleman works for us, he's going to take you down. Can you down, make your Ready? All right, thank you. All right. This is Southwest Airlines Flight 3086, service to Long Beach. No IDs need to be shown. Everyone holds their own boarding pass. We are taking our pre-board passengers at this time. Those with pre-board authorization, 3086 Long Beach. What's up, fam? Good morning. I'm getting ready right now for the day. My surgery is tomorrow. I have only had surgery once in my life, and that was to get my tummy tuck that I had done two years ago. It's almost exactly two years ago. So if you haven't seen that video, it's actually a really, really good one. I had severe diastasis from my twin pregnancy to the point where I had like chronic pain. The only permanent way to fix that is by getting a tummy tuck. So I looked into it forever and I eventually got my tummy tuck and it was the best decision I have ever made for myself. At the time, I decided to just get the full on mommy makeover. I figured I was like going under anyway. I might as well make everything look better. So I got a breast lift, breast implant, and they did my tummy tuck, which is the thing that like, the boobs obviously were optional. So just a little recap, since then I've decided that I don't like my implants at all. So I'm getting them taken out tomorrow, and in addition to that, they're also extending my tummy tuck to fix a dog ear that's on this side, which is very common, and then on this side, they're removing my full tattoo. So this surgery is not nearly as like big of a surgery as my first surgery that I had, and I think because of that, I'm like not nervous in the slightest. I'm not even this much nervous, but I'm also wondering if I'm like setting myself up for failure because it still is pretty big surgery. They're taking my, my implants out, doing another lift and extending my tummy tuck on my side. So it's still like a pretty major surgery, but because it isn't as big of a surgery, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a breeze. And I'm hoping that I'm not setting myself up for failure. And then like after surgery, it's like the worst recovery of my life. Anyway. So I just took a shower and this is going to be the last time that I can like fully shower. Well actually no, that's not true because tomorrow morning before the surgery I have to wash my body with some antibacterial soap. But I figured I shouldn't wash my hair tomorrow. I'm just gonna like get in, I don't wanna like do the whole shebang like dry. I never blow dry my hair, I always let it air dry. And knowing me, I'm gonna take a shower like 10 minutes before I leave. So I decided just to wash my hair today. It's probably gonna be the last time I wash it for quite some time because with new incisions like that, you have to be careful on taking a full shower, getting them wet and stuff. So I have no idea. I actually have no idea how this recovery is gonna be. He said that it's not gonna be as bad as my tummy tuck, but my tummy tuck took like a full six weeks to recover. So are we talking like four weeks or are we talking two? I'm not too sure. I guess we're gonna find out. By the time you guys watch this video, I would have already gone under the knife. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go quickly follow me on there and watch my stories because I'm going to be updating on there daily. And I do update on here pretty much daily as well. But as you guys know, I post every other day. So sometimes it gets pushed back a few days. So I took like a full blown shower. I shaved my legs. I washed my hair. I mean like a full, I just need the full shebang. So one last thing before I like get fully dressed and ready for the day, I'm going to dye my eyebrows. I've talked about doing this a few times. Do you need to walk past? Yeah. Chris is like butt naked. Okay, go. What? What? <laughs> butt naked. What? <laughs> before I get like fully ready for today, I'm going to dye my eyebrows. I know I've talked about this. I dye my eyebrows often. That's the only part of my body that I put dye on. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done this on camera. Have I? I don't know, but I use, I don't use anything special at all. In fact, I'm probably gonna, like if anybody knows what they're doing, they're probably gonna be like, you're doing it wrong. I kid you not, I buy the 
single cheapest hair dye at this at like Walmart. It's like three dollars or something. I actually don't know. And I get the dark blonde, and it's like a whole thing. I know you can buy the little packs for just like just eyebrows or just touch ups or whatever, but I just. I don't know if they have this at Walmart, it's easy, so I get this. It comes with a full bottle for like your hair and everything. I literally use like that much of it. Oh no, it dripped a little on the side. Some of you are going to cringe so hard, but I just, I just don't care. I just literally do what works. And then what I do is I take a Q-tip and I like take off all of the excess stuff, that way it's just on my eyebrows. And then I look like a really, really, really bad makeup tutorial that you can find on YouTube for a while. People ask me all the time, why don't I just get my eyebrows microbladed? And if I'm being totally honest with you guys, I don't trust anybody near my eyebrows. Like, I'm just deathly afraid that someone's gonna mess it up. And so I'm just fine with drawing them on every day. <laughs> I dye them, which does very little, and then I like draw on the rest. So I'll let this sit on my face for a little bit and I'll see you guys when I'm looking crazy. Okay, that's much better. And I'm ready. Hello, what's up fam? What are you ready for? The day. Little chat with you guys. I changed, I put this on, and I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly. Since we're on the topic of breasts today, I did mention that I felt like my breasts were too big for my body. And I had a lot of people say like, you're crazy, they look so good. I think the size looks so nice on you. And I wanna point something out. So the reason why some of you guys might think that it looks like a good size, maybe, maybe, just thought. Um, I did want to point out that I strapped down my breasts since the day that I got them. I wore like a padded bra once, and then I wore a t-shirt bra a few times, but 99% of the time I am wearing an extremely tight sports bra because I don't like the way that they look. It hurts my back. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. This is me now wearing just a normal, regular t-shirt bra. Like this is them not fully strapped down, but just like a normal bra that you would wear every day of your life. Like, I mean, they are pretty big. So I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people were like, I totally disagree. I think that they look really good on your body and that's fine, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It only matters what I feel like anyway. But I did want to point that out because I don't know if I've ever like said that is that they have been strapped down since I got them because I just, I feel like they're too big. And as you guys know, the whole reason that I got any surgery to begin with is because the diastasis that I have when they go and they do a tummy tuck, not only do they just remove excess skin, a lot of people know, a lot of people know it for like the removing of skin, but they also sew your muscles together. And that was my problem was that my, Diastasis was so large like I went to physical therapy for it for a while I mean I saw multiple surgeons for it and they all agreed that it was a very extreme Diastasis that I had and a tummy tuck fixes that so they sew it together and one of the problems with having Diastasis is that it gives you very 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 Debilitating back pain. I remember it being to the point where I at the end of the day I couldn't even function and since I got my tummy tuck the pain is gone. It was the single best decision I ever made for myself. And a lot of the times with that, they do a package, it's called a mommy makeover, where they do a breast lift with implants and they do the tummy tuck. And I figured, you know, why not? I know so many people that have implants and have no issues with them at all. And I wouldn't even say that I necessarily have issues with them. I purely just, they're too big, they hurt my back. And then I have the issue with my left breast that I talked about in my other video that Go back and watch that video if you want to. But the whole point of getting the surgery to begin with is to get rid of my back pain, and I and I did. And then I got these suckers, and now I have upper back pain. <laughs> so I don't know. And like I said, I definitely don't regret it. I think they look really good. I just I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, you know, I just I don't I don't. They're just in the way. They're in the way when you sleep. They're in the way when you move. And I did get them under the muscle. I had a few people asking about that. I did get them under the muscle, and then just these big balls that are just like sitting there. It was fun while it lasted. It was a good two years with you guys, but I'm ready to go back to my natural, my natural state. Here's the final before of these bad boys. So my goal of the day is to get as much of the house like spotless as I can. I obviously won't be able to help out for a little while. I'm not really sure how long I won't be able to help out for. It kind of just depends probably. Chris is running a bunch of necessary errands today so he's going like store to store to store to kind of get stuff done. Update on the last video that you guys saw. 
are everything's still leaking and they we had to wait until the office opened which it opened today so that's another thing that we have to do is we have to call them today and get them out here to like officially diagnose what the issue is because we thought that we fixed it with the hose but it didn't ho it didn't it's still very very wet and we can't just not do laundry so we're just at a point right now where we're just like i mean at this point the damage is done like it's it's really bad so I feel like it certainly can't really get any worse. If anything, it's just going to, I don't know, accentuate what it, what there already is. But they already have to tear all the drywall out and who knows what. Oh my gosh. Also, the pool plaster people were supposed to come today and finish it again. It's been rescheduled like three different times due to weather stuff. But today, sure enough, it is pouring rain again. Well, not at this very moment, but it was pouring rain earlier. So rescheduled again. We're hoping that we can get it done this week at some point. So that is put off yet again, which is fine. I mean, it's not like we're gonna use the pool in the middle of January, probably anyway. So I'm going to get as many things done around here as possible. babies one last time. <laughs> hey, you're, you are evil. How did what, that, what's what? the word where they are, where they come back and return and they're just like double the ruthless, ruthless you are. Look at this. Agua. <laughs> there was no water. It's just ice. Oh my God. I actually got lucky there was no water. I ended up taking my bra off because it was just, it's too much you guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Got less than 24 hours with this stuff. Actually, it is coming up on bedtime. I wanted to finish editing as many videos as I could. How many did I get done? I'm not going to disclose that information. I got so much going on and so I got a full vlog edited at least that'll hold me off until like right after the surgery. And obviously I know I can take a few days off but anybody that knows me, I don't. <laughs> I like don't take, I am always, always editing and I hate taking a few days off. So I will if I need to, but I'm gonna play it by ear because part of me is like, I'm just gonna be sitting in bed. Like, okay, yeah, I may be drugged up and the vlogs may get a little wonky for a little bit. So if New Year's Eve vlogs are a little weird, guys, that's why. It's because I edited it when I was taking some hardcore pain meds. But anyway, um, before we put the kids in bed, I need to get my kids to put away all of their clothes. Where's my camera? Right here. Don't act like you don't know what happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> I just stuck down them. <laughs> Kaden, I'm gonna kick your butt. I can't even see you. <laughs> Finish cleaning, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Rosalyn. What? I don't know what I would do without you. High five. Ready for some pain with that one. We knocked out all of the laundry, you guys. The men are doing important things downstairs that cannot be disclosed at this time, but okay. they are doing important Can things. Can we reflect on this? This is my one thing that <laughs> what are we I reflecting want everybody on? to see. What, this? This. <laughs> this, this. She like, like actually vacuums carpet. I love the carpet. Yeah, it's so nice. Don't walk. <laughs> oh shoot, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. But we were just going over the plans for tomorrow. She's on school duty, so I have the Four big kids are in elementary school, so they like have their, they all have their Zoom login, they have their lunch times, they have their recess times, they have the whole shebang. Addie does not have school tomorrow, so she's gonna be here. Luckily, Addie and Silas are like bestest, bestest friends ever. They will probably just play all morning, as they usually do. We don't even know they're here half the time. I said that. No, yeah. It's so good. That's the one thing, like with them two, is that they just, they never fight. Like they just always, it's nice when you when your kids have friends that they don't fight with because sometimes I'm personally just don't click so there's some friends that as much as you love the kid like they don't get along and I'm so thankful for these they these little guys to their room. they have a passcode to their room yep. do you know it yeah oh are you gonna tell me ah! <laughs> he wrote it on his head. I won't look all right it is 15 minutes until midnight I definitely didn't plan on staying up this late but here I am I knew I'd have trouble falling asleep though but I cannot eat or drink anything after midnight so I'm just like trying to stay super hydrated like downing my water because I won't be able to eat or drink anything until well after 
like noon tomorrow oh my god this is crazy i think it's just now like starting to hit me you know the crazy thing is though is that i'm like not nervous at all like not even a little bit these are my prescriptions i've got i don't even know how to pronounce any of these i know nothing about it so there's this one hydrocodone and then this one this is actually the only one that i have to worry about today i do not remember them giving me this last time but this is a patch and you put it on the back of your ear and it's supposed to help with like nausea and stuff and you put it so you put it on that before and then you can keep it on for up to three days so i guess if you're just like feeling nauseous she said if i'm not feeling nauseous or anything then i can take it off but where's the patch at there's just a bunch of papers it's probably in the it, does it say which ear to put it behind probably doesn't matter right like your cut g <laughs> Do you know they didn't even ask me if, they, if a pharmacist wanted to go over this with me? I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. No, they gave me three different medications. That's not, they always do that. I get albuterol that I've taken my whole life and they go over it with me. Really? Uh, yeah. Please see it. Attached directions. Apply one patch to skin, single dose, as directed. Apply behind ear, night before procedure. Wash hands after touching. Do you know, like, wash it? You should, like, wash it first. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I took a shower today, but that was, well, that was this morning. All right, so you're gonna have some slight discomfort. <laughs> okay, doctor. <laughs> Are we role playing? Yeah. You're gonna feel slight pressure. Wait, wait, where are you supposed to put Turn it? Did you read the call. directions? Yes, behind your ear. No, let me look at the directions. I don't think so. What? All right. Okay. Turn your head and cough. Imprinted, <laughs> imprinted peach colored transdermal system. Okay. Like right by my lobe. Wait, let me show you. I know. Right, like right I can here. see better than you behind like your head. Like right here, as close to the ear. Okay. Ready? You're gonna feel pressure, and it's gonna sting just for a second. It's not gonna sting. Pressure, yeah, pressure, you, pressure, pressure. Okay, it's done. <laughs> you didn't put it in the right spot. Yes, I did. If it's any closer, it's gonna fall off. All right, I'm drugged up officially. Wait. Final thoughts. I'm going to bed now. I think maybe like tomorrow it'll hit me. Like I think putting the patch on for me is like, whoa, this is like actually real. But I've been looking forward to this day for quite some time, so I'm like, oh my god, I can't leave. Oh my god. <sighs> So I'm gonna go to bed, you guys. It's already way too late. <laughs> but I mean, I'll probably just end up sleeping the whole day tomorrow anyway. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for all of your constant, continuous support. Um, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Of course, to stay super up to date with what's going on in the recovery and stuff. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Good night, guys.